Hi internet, so it's time for my January wrap up thing. Because I did a mid-month wrap up, I'll only just like quickly flash what books I read that were included in that, and then we'll get into the slightly smaller number of books that I've read this for the rest of the month. And what I didn't read that I said I was going to. Stone Glass by Maria B. Schneider. The Storyteller and His Three Daughters by Leanne Hurt. Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Graphic Novels, Part 1. Part 2, Those Who Came After by Elizabeth Holdsworth. Sea Glass by Maria B. Schneider. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and the Bottle Imp by Robert Louis Stevenson. Okay, so they're all the ones that were in my mid-month wrap-up. Let's get on to the ones I read after mid-month. There are four. I'm so impressed with myself. Four! After reading, like, well, technically only four novels the first half, but like two graphic novels as well, didn't read any graphic novels. So the first one I read after those was Illusions of Fate by Kirsten White, and I love this book. This is a standalone fantasy that you've probably heard about on the internet, but for some reason there aren't many reviews on. I gave this five stars and I loved it, just everything about it. So this follows Yasmin who is from Malia and she moves to Albion to study and to get away from a crazy matchmaking mother. And when she's in Albia, things don't go as according to plan. And then one day she meets this stranger Flynn and they just talk and then he pops up a couple of other times in her day. But it's really weird and it's like, I have taken too much of your time up, I must leave. And then she gets entangled in his world and just bad things happen and adventures and birds. I loved it so much. <laughs> the next one I finished was Frostfire by Amanda Hocking, which is about trolls. Yeah, I loved it. I picked up this book, not really knowing what it was about, but I'd seen the picture and I'd seen it pop up in a lot of people's January most anticipated for 2015 and stuff, and I put it on my wish list. And then I saw it at the shop, so I picked it up, and it looks so cute. Like, I'm kind of sad I didn't get the hardcover. This is about Bran whose main mission in life is to become like one of the royal guards for her troll group, which are the Canons. And it's all going to plan, like she becomes one of normal guards and is working her way up. And then one day the guy she idolises goes crazy, tries to kill her dad and runs away. And then she's kind of forces herself more into this world and doesn't trust people. This takes up I think four years after that. She's on a bench here, she's tr they have to get changelings which are trolls that are put into the human population. A switch with human babies at birth and then they are brought back to the troll world at like age 18 for their trust for money. But and it's also safe for them. And she is in, she is one of the people who goes and gets these changelings and she goes to pick up her latest changeling and shenanigans happen and there's adventure and the way this book ended kind of kind of annoys me because it's like but what, what? But at the same time I'm loving it just it's my same thing with Chosen like there's so many unanswered questions I need to know the answers and I will be picking up the next book in the series whenever it comes out. I can't remember what the next book in the series name is but I want to read Tyrell, which is Amanda Hawking's other series in this world, but in a different troll group. Yes. And trolls are all slim and like short. I just love this world. I'm gonna have to do a review on this maybe. The next book I read is the audiobook of The Assassin's Curse by Cassandra Rose Clark, which I could not get in physical copy and is annoying me endlessly as I've spoken about. I'm hoping that they do a reprint or something on this series and I can get it because I love this book so much. If you hadn't read it, go read it. It's about assassins and pirates and it's funny and it's just amazing. And this is the second book in the series, which is the next one I read, which is Pirate's Curse. And there is some romance, but it's like not insta-love and you only really read about it in this one and it's all fantasy and I, I love it. And it's about assassin and a pirate and the Assassin's Curse, and then the Pirate's Wish, and I just love the way it was done. It were the four books I read in the second half of January. So many. I also, I would have read more, but I hit a reading slump. When I hit this, I was halfway, I finished reading Pirate's Wish, and then I was halfway through The Winner's Curse, which I have in ebook form. I forget who that's by. And I just stopped reading. I think I hit a point in that book where I'm kind of reading a couple pages of that book as I go, but I, I think I've just hit a point where I'm like, I'm scared to continue because 
things are gonna happen and I don't know if I want them to happen but so far The Winner's Curse is a really great book. I picked up I Forgot to Remember by Sue Someone which is her memoir of being am amnesiac after an accident and how she's dealing with life and I really love that but then I put it down and the reading slump kind of happened and I've been trying to read through it but I don't have the motivation to read so I'm not pushing myself. Mainly I'm writing or reading writing that I've done because <laughs> my world's kind of taken over my mind at the moment. I've been listening to a lot more music but everything just relates to my story world and it's kind of driving me crazy. But I've also decided that the story that I've been working on for nearly 10 years, like I think 8 years, I'm going back to basics with. And that scares me but I have to because there are just too many things in it that I can't, yeah. I've been reading Pride and Prejudice as well, just chapter by chapter as I feel like it on um, ebook form which is great because I went on a binge of Pride and Prejudice. It started with watching the movie again and then it every other form and the Lizzie Bennet diaries and it made me so desperate to pick up the secret diary of Lizzie Bennet but I have to finish Pride and Prejudice first before I let myself do that. Something else that I added to it was Eleanor and Park. I have been trying to read this for a few months now and I've gotten more through this but I've realised I have an issue with contemporaries. I'm finding this a lot with a lot of contemporaries as I pick them up because they're not fast paced and they don't always draw me in. Um, don't get me wrong, there are some contemporaries that do and not all contemporaries are like this but with especially Eleanor and Park and a few other ones I've noticed I can only read it bit by bit. I think it's, it's not even the romance, I just get randomly angry at the book. I will read like three pages and then I'm just running like I don't want to fucking read this and put it down and I don't know why and then like instantly I'm like why don't I want to read that? I'm not even angry at it like what happened didn't anger me in any way and the book doesn't anger me and I literally I like legitimately want to finish this book and read this book because so far I'm loving it but I keep getting angry when reading it. And this isn't the only book to do it to me that's a contemporary, like, when I was reading Snow Like Ashes, the two books that I did read, I was getting randomly angry at, and then the last book I just couldn't take it anymore, and I read them all in bits. We Were Liars started out the same way, I just apparently get really angry at books and put them down and then don't know why I'm angry at them, because I'm not angry at them. I haven't done this with my adult reads that I've been reading, but I think it's my annoyance at teenagers in general. I did not read Horns by Joe Hill. I know I've been saying that I want to read that for two months now, three months. I just haven't picked it up. I think I've hyped it too much in my head now, just by how much I want to read it, that I, <laughs> I might just leave it for a bit until I feel like reading again. I see it, and then I'm like, oh, but I don't feel like reading that right now. I don't... Mm. It's the same with Hardship Box by Joe Hill. I will pick it up hopefully this month because I want to get more reading done. I'm already 11 books into this year, which is kind of amazing to me, and my Goodreads goal was 60, so if I beat that, I'm gonna have to up it. If I read 60 by the middle of the year, I'm gonna up it to 100 or 120, depending on how my reading continues, but otherwise it's still not 60 for now. <laughs> I don't know, I might go on a reading slump for six months. Yeah, so that was my January wrap up. I hope you guys are having a lovely week. Um, let me know what you read down below or if you had a video, boost it and I'll watch it and stuff. Yeah. Bye!